Welcome to the Thunderstorm Productions Fun Food Equipment Tutorials. Here, you'll find all you need to know about setting up, operating, and cleaning your fun food machines to make your event a huge success. Thunderstorm Productions, we bring the fun. Frozen Drink Slushy Machine. All right, so today we're showing off our dual head large slush machine. So what we're gonna do now is show you the operations and how to use it and how to fill it up. So first thing is we're gonna turn it on. Again, it will be delivered set up like this. All the bowls will be attached already. Nothing you have to do, it's all set. Now we've got it already set to ice. All you have to do is scroll through the snowflake button, make sure both sides are set to ice. And then also this button here is our auger. Make sure the augers are both running. Now, all of our different types of mix all have different ratios. So for today, uh, we're gonna use this. This is our Mr. Freezy cherry flavor. So each bag, including the mix, makes four liters. So this is a 12 liter machine. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna mix in three bags and fill it up with water. So there's one. There's two. And then that's three. And then like I said, we're gonna fill it up to the maximum line. There's a little line across the front here and it says max on the side. We're gonna fill that up with water. And again, if you wanna make more later, you just have to take one bag of the mix and add enough water to bring it up to four liters. And then that's how you can add it to the machine. All right, so that side is ready to go. Now we're gonna come over to the other side. And on this side, we're gonna do pina colada today. So this is our Mott's mix. We carry currently pina colada, margarita, and strawberry daiquiri. And this one works as a ratio of one bottle of mix to two bottles of water. So four bottles of the mix and then fill it up to the max line, which is actually 12 liters. So you don't really have to do much math when it comes to your first fill up. But if you're adding more mix later on, again, it's one bottle of mix to two bottles of water. So you can use the actual empty bottles to uh, fill up your machine. It makes it really easy. Okay, and then now we're gonna fill this up to the max line as well. And a machine like this, you also wanna make sure that it's not kept out in direct sunlight if you're gonna have it outside, just because it is trying to freeze. So if it's in a shaded area, that's a lot better, um, as well as it needs a dedicated 15 amp regular household outlet so make sure that there's nothing else plugged in um, and if you are going to put it on an extension cord make sure it's an extension cord that was supplied by us and uh, it's about an hour an hour and a half and it'll be ready to serve so now after the machine's been operating for a while everything's now nice and frozen the only thing to let you know is make sure it's plugged into a dedicated circuit and if you're going to use an extension cord make sure you use one that we provide also, keep it out of the sunlight. These machines are uh, a visible bowl, so what happens is if you have too much sun on here, uh, it's not gonna freeze properly, it's gonna take too long to catch up. So, the easiest thing to do, grab yourself a cup, pull down on the handle, and just like that, you got a slushy. throw yourself in a straw, and you're all set. Now, one more thing to let you know, when the machine starts getting down to about here where you'll start seeing the auger spinning around, what you want to make sure is you always keep your liquid higher than that level. Otherwise, it may seize up because that's where all the ice gets created. If you get later on into your evening and you decide you just want to use what's left in here, not make any more, go back to your control, hit the snowflake button on each side, change it to chill or to off. What chill will do is it'll keep it kind of cool, but it won't create any more ice. Same thing with off. It'll just turn off the compressors, but it'll keep it cold enough that you'll be able to use the rest of the mix. And then again, when you're done, 
just lift the lids, drain the machine, and then if you can just run one or two <clears throat> buckets full of clean water through, just to rinse all the slush out of it, and then we'll come and pick it up and bring it on to the next rental. So thank you very much. Thanks for checking out our videos. Feel free to visit us online at our website, thunderstormpro.com.